name is Bridget. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be introducing you to my five snakes. Yes, you heard that right. I have five snakes. Three months ago, I had zero and now I have five. I have always loved reptiles and snakes were not always part of that love for me. But over the last maybe three or four years, I have just fallen in love with them and I've become so obsessed with snakes and knew that I wanted them in my life. 100% as soon as I was able to have the space for them, have the time for them, and have the means to care for them. So when it came around time to get my first snake, I had a couple of snakes in mind that I wanted, but I definitely wanted to kind of dip my toe in the water first, get an idea of what it's like to own snakes, not have something that was too difficult, too large, things like that. So I decided to start with super easy but also incredibly fun and as soon as I got this first snake which I'll show you in a minute that was it for me that opened the can of worms and now I have five you've gotten a couple of glimpses of the first two on this channel I'll have those videos in the cards for you to watch if you want to see but this video is definitely going to show a lot more of them so if you want to see my five snakes and learn how I came about getting them in three months then just keep watching all right so we'll go ahead and get started with snake number one and it is a corn snake. This is my juvenile corn snake. He's about four months old now and his name is Cornelius, which I know. So original name your corn snake Cornelius. I don't know, when I was thinking of names for a corn snake that kind of stuck with me and I couldn't help it. So I fell in love with the name Cornelius and I think it fits him really well. His morph type is a Tessera corn snake. He is doing extremely well. He's very curious. He's an excellent eater. I could feed him broccoli and he would eat it. He's so easy to handle. My steps son loves to handle him. He is just the absolute perfect snake. The whole snake game for me, he changed it. This snake will always be my very first snake. The first snake that just totally won my heart. I'm so madly in love with him and I could not have asked for a better snake. He is just perfect. I love him so much. So yeah, this is my little corn snake, Cornelius. So like I said, as soon as I got Cornelius and had him for just a little bit, I started looking into a second snake that I wanted to get. I've always loved corn snakes, so I got Cornelius, but I've also always loved Western hognose snakes. So I got one of those. All right, snake number two is my Western hog nose and his name is Grindle. He is definitely the sassiest little snake I have ever known in my entire life, which fits the name Grindle perfectly because Grendel comes from um, the story Beowulf and Grendel is the monster so I figured it'd be just perfect to name my western hog nose after a monster. Now this has proven to be such a different experience than Cornelius. This little snake is so incredibly sassy and dramatic just as I expected a western hog nose to be. He is totally textbook Western Hognose, okay? Like these guys are so entertaining, so much fun, and I could not be happier to have him. So little Grendel is an exanthic Western Hognose. He is absolutely adorable. He is just a little guy as you can see. But as I said, don't let his size fool you because he certainly has a majorly large attitude for being such a small tiny snake. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Why are you so mad about it? Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, there's my snake number two, my Western Hognose Grendel. So snakes three and four have a little bit of a story behind them, so I am going to tell that. You can skip ahead if you just want to see the snakes. 
but before I actually show them to you, I do want to kind of explain a little bit of how I actually got them. So these two snakes are the same species. They are both ball pythons and they are actually rescues. And I knew that when we got our first ball python, I definitely wanted it to be a rescue. I didn't want to just go to an expo and buy a snake or whatever like I did the last two. I wanted to actually rescue one for my third snake. So I found a rescue that I thought was really reputable and I was really impressed by them and I started to start the process of rescuing a ball python. Well, it took about three weeks to actually get my snake because the rescue, I guess they just had so much overflow or something. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but the communication was lost. Plans were rescheduled quite a few times. This rescue is a five hour round trip drive for me, so it's not as if I can just drop everything and go, you know, I had to make a plan. And so every time that we would make a plan together, things wouldn't work out, things had to be pushed aside, and it was just really difficult. A lot of people who deal with that kind of situation might be like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to a different rescue. Instead of just waiting around and figuring out, you know, is this gonna happen, is this not gonna happen? You know, I was very upset, and a lot of people would just say, you know what, okay, let me just go a different direction. But for whatever reason, in my heart, I couldn't let go of this situation. I couldn't walk away from it. I felt as though I needed to stick this out to get my snake. And now I'm incredibly happy that I did that because these two snakes, especially this next one I'm gonna show you, are so beyond special to me. I can't even put into words without getting emotional. I'm just incredibly grateful and incredibly happy and thrilled to have them in my life. So what had happened was the reason we got two is because the director of the rescue actually felt so bad that things were getting so jumbled and shoved all over the place that she said, you know what, you can have your pick of a second ball python and it'll be yours. So very last minutely, we went ahead and set up a second ball python enclosure. They were both adults, so I knew to plan for an adult. And I have two, and so I'm gonna start with one and I'm gonna show you the other that we didn't intend on getting, but I can't imagine life without him now, so I'm extremely happy that we have them both. But first, I'm gonna show you the first ball python. This is the one that has just changed everything for me. This is snake number three, my three-year-old rescued ball python, and her name is Ollie. Ollie is short for Ollivander, which is from Harry Potter's Ollivander's wand shop. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so naturally I have to have names that correspond with that sometimes. Now, of course, I don't know her exact history so I don't know exactly if she's three years old and the rescue believes her to be three or four so I'm just gonna say she's three and call it a day. Now her morph type is considered a normal but she is also a reduced pattern normal and the difference with that as you can see is just that she has a little bit of a reduced pattern than most normals have. Her coloring is slightly lighter because normals typically have a lot of black in them whereas she just has really rich chocolate brown and and the alien heads that end up on the sides of ball pythons, she doesn't have a whole lot of that going on. Definitely more diffused. Now, another part of this one's backstory, when I did consult with the rescue, she sent me several photos of ball pythons to choose from. There was a ball python in the group of photos that I did fall for and I felt belonged to me and I wanted that snake so badly and kind of where the name Ollivander came from because this ball python had several perfect O's along her back and that kind of inspired us to name our first ball python Ollivander. When I got to the rescue to actually pick up these two snakes, they handed me this one. <laughs> And um, I immediately noticed that there weren't the O's on her back. I knew that it wasn't the same snake. So, you know, naturally I said, well, this isn't the right snake. I need the right snake. And we looked through every ball python in the entire place and never found the snake with O's. I didn't end up getting the snake with O's, but of course, while I was looking, my husband was holding this girl and she kept reaching her neck out to me and it was just, so sweet and she's just got the greatest little temperament. She's such a cool snake and there was absolutely no way that I was gonna be selfish and say, well, I picked out this snake, I only want this snake. You know, when I have this one here who is stunning and so sweet and special, I could have never left without her ever. So we ended up getting this girl and 
kept the name. I went through that a couple days um, deciding if I wanted to change it or not and I don't. I think the name still fits her and she just makes me so happy it's stupid. I can't even explain. And you know, since her name corresponds with Ollivander's wand shop and her being a reduced pattern ball python, every time I think of reduced pattern, I immediately think of the spell Reducto, which is the spell that makes things explode. So I always say she makes my heart explode. But yeah, this is my sweet Ollie girl. I love her so much. She's back here somewhere. <laughs> Read that girl. Well, there you are. Well, all right, we now have snake number four. This is our second rescued ball python. This is our freebie, if you will. He is a one-year-old male, and his name is Indy. Yes, that is short for Indiana Jones. My husband wanted to name him. And since we had our Ollie, we thought it would be cute to have something that ended in the sound E as well, so we decided to call him Indy. Again, I don't know exactly the history of this snake. Um, the rescue just believes him to be between a year and two years old. And Indy's morph type is a Mojave. The Mojave is also where you go in. Extremely stunning. He's got such a cool looking pattern, such cool coloration. The blushing on the sides here is just insanely beautiful. His stripe on his back and his eyes are half gold, which is what most Mojaves have. And so I just think it's so stunning. He has a little bit of a different temperament than Ollie does. He's a little bit more kind of timid. He doesn't like to be handled near as much as she does. In his enclosure, he's very like defensive in there but once you get him out I mean he is so chill I just love him so much you know we did originally plan on just getting the one ball python rescuing but I honestly am so thrilled to have the both of them and he is just so incredible All right, so for snake number five, I am actually not going to get him out. I know, I'm so sorry. He is just extremely new and he is going into shed right now, so I don't wanna bother him. Not to mention he is extremely young and is one of those snakes that is extremely fast and my goodness, he is faster than lightning. So I know that the whole time I'm trying to talk about him, I would just be fighting him because he would be trying to get away from me the whole time. So as I'm talking about him, just enjoy some clips that I took of him. So our fifth new addition is this little guy right here. This is a gray banded king snake. He's only about a month and a half old, so he's super young, super little, and he does not like being handled just yet, but we will work with him, and in time, he will be just fine. So we picked this little guy up very recently, and it was another situation where we definitely didn't think that we would get another snake this quickly, but this particular snake, the Gray Banded King Snake, has been such a dream snake for both my husband and myself for about the last year, and they're so difficult to find. I don't know if you guys have noticed or if you're interested in these snakes as well, but expos that you go to, breeders that you look at online, rescues that you look at, they are just not very common. So we knew that as soon as we saw one, we would really need to jump on the opportunity to get it and that's exactly what we did. We have such a long list of dream animals and we are definitely going to make those dreams a reality in the future but this time we had to jump on it sooner rather than later to not miss our opportunity. So as you can see he's extremely cute, he's extremely beautiful, his colors and his patterns are absolutely insanely gorgeous in my opinion and he gives us such Nightmare Before Christmas vibes that we decided to name him Jack. I absolutely love the little pattern on his belly, the little circles that are so perfect. I think they're so, so cute. Jack is so curious. He's eating so well. He is so stinking adorable. My little Halloween snake, my little pumpkin. So yeah, there's our fifth snake, little Jack, the gray banded king snake.
Well, all right, guys, that's going to be it for my video today. I really hope that you enjoyed meeting my five snakes that I didn't have three months ago. It's been such a whirlwind, and I'm so incredibly happy. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. I can't wait to watch them grow up, see how they change as they grow, and just love on them as much as I possibly can. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell so you can see when I upload next, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!